Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am actually filming you this Memorial Day inspiration makeup, having some fun with some Kat Von D products and some blue lips. And I did a red wing on each side. And enjoy the sunlight because it is hot here in Wisconsin. It is actually 80s right now. I just wanted to film something a little bit different and I just wanted to enjoy it. If you guys want to see any more of these looks like this on my YouTube channel, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you click the bell that is next to the subscribe button. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and let's jump into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I already have one eye done already, as you can see. I just wanted to see what this was gonna turn out to be like, so I am going to do the other eye on camera. So if you guys wanna see how I did this side, keep on watching and let's get started. First thing I took was my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot on a Morphe brush. Put this in my whole eye socket to get my eye ready for the shadows. And I already did my eyebrows, so I'm kind of just going to carve those out as well with the concealer. And I'm just going to conceal all of the veins that I have on my eyes. I don't have them very distinct, but you can definitely tell that they are there. And I don't want to see them for this look. There's other looks for those. I already have some powder in our glass top for the veil powder. And I'm going to use a little Soho brush. And I'm going to put some of that on the brush and put that all over the paint pot just set it down now I have a mirror right here as you can see this so I'll try and keep that out of the way and as always if you hear dogs barking it is Zoe and Grub I have the front door open because it's really nice outside so I wanted to give them some sunlight it's Memorial Day weekend you guys doing anything fun I'm just kind of having some fun Brody and I already took the top and the doors off the Jeep so we're gonna be able to go for a fun ride with that so that's why my hair is up he's working right now and I have some stuff that I'm gonna do during the day and I'm going to use a Morphe I don't even know what number it is looks just like this really fluffy brush I've been liking this brush a lot and I have gone into Melt Cosmetics the dark matter stack and I'm going to start with the shade blur and I'm putting this pretty much almost all over just kind of getting a base color down. And we'll go into some darker shadows after the shade. Just kind of cleaning it up through here, making sure we're getting it out far enough. The next shade I went to was Unseen. And I focused the shade more into my crease, so let's do that again. Tap it off, focusing in the outside right through here and building it up. I didn't want to have a lot of color, you know, different colors on my eyes. I just wanted to kind of stick with some of the red and then like some silver because we're going to have some fun with the color after this for my lips. One more time with this shade, just building it up again. And make sure you're, if you wanna blend out nicely, make sure that your fingers are closer to the edge of the brushes, not so far in because then you're gonna be pushing really hard. You want to go slightly in through. Lighter hand. I'm going to use a Sigma E44 brush. It has a little bit of color still left on it. Really nice brush. I'm gonna pick up the color Haze from the Haze stack from Melt Cosmetics as well. So far all the shadows have been from Melt. They just released a new eyeshadow palette called Gemini and unfortunately I didn't get one. I'm really, really sad, but I guess I'll have to wait till June. I do believe it's June 2nd for it to come out. Tapping this shadow off, it is very pigmented and I wanna start with a little bit of color and then I'll build it up. So I'm gonna be using this in the outer third of my eye and just kind of tapping it on. Going back in with that Morphe brush and blending it out. I did this a few times. 
and build the color. Going in with a clean brush, blending that all out. Going in with the last time with the haze shadow and I'm going to concentrate that in the middle of my eye one more time. And I know that some of it's going to go through here, but I don't have the rest of my base makeup on yet. Now I'm going to be going in with the blood sugar palette and I'm going to use the shade Brick. It's a red shade. And I'm going to use that same brush, pick up some of this shade, and put it on as well, just in through here. Brings in some of that red color as well into the pink. And I'm going to go in as well with the blood sugar palette, and I'm going to use the color glucose. And I'm going to use this Bare Essentials double-sided brush, and I'm going to use the bigger side and I'm just going to mat down my brow bone. Bring it all the way in and to the tail. Going to use that Morphe brush again and just blend that out and make sure that the edges are blended through the red shade. Going back in with the haze stack I'm going to go in with Indica. It's a little bit of a silver shade. And I'm going to use my Urban Decay double-sided brush. And I'm gonna use the smaller side. And I'm going to be putting this in the inner corner of my eye. And this shade is quite pigmented, so I do like to use a little bit at a time. And I'm gonna bring this into the red a little bit, and then I'm gonna use Sigma brush that I was using with the red, and I'm just going to blend the edges together. Bring this shade out a little bit further into the red. It's gonna look something like this. Can you go back into the Sigma brush and kind of blend this out just a little bit so it's not very harsh or noticeable. It makes like a real good transition. Now we're gonna get into the fun part. First, I'm going to Kat Von D Santa Sangra Liquid Lipstick and I'm going to be using a BH Cosmetics number no. nine brush. This brush is used for brows, but I like to use a lot of my brushes for multiple different things. And I actually like using this. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the color on the edge of the brush, and we're going to do a little bit of a wing. I always like to start my wings kind of towards the middle here of my eye. put a couple coats of this on because it is kind of sheer on the colors. So I'll let it dry a little bit and then I'll put some more on, but I'm working really slow. And then connect the wing, picking up some more product from the tube. Now somebody decides to mow their lawn. <laughs> and it's only, I started filming before nine o'clock. Rolling this in, make it a little bit thicker. I'm gonna let that dry for just a second or two here. And then we're gonna put some of the glitter on. I'm going to use a Studio Gear number 29, real small brush, Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid in Dazzle. Just like this. Just gonna pick up some of that on this brush and put that all over the wing. Let that dry for a little bit. I'm gonna be putting some mascara on in between coats and I'm gonna use the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And 
go in with the second coat of the glitter topper. We're going to use a Sigma E30 brush and Kat Von D Thunderstruck eyeshadow. And I'm going to get a load of this on my brush and using Skinanavia the makeup finishing spray to wet in my brush to make this intense. And tap this in the inner corner. Bring it pretty rounded out and blend these shades together a little bit. And then I'm going to use dual glue and I'm going to go in with Lily Lashes in the style Goddess, and this is the lashes. I have used them a couple times, and I do clean the glue each time off. And I'm going to use my Tardish Eye Balsies to apply them. So the glue turns blue. and crimp your lashes too with the falsies. I am not the best at lashes, so it is something I struggle with all the time. I'm trying to get better at them though. All right, I am going to put my base on. I don't have anything fun for right now, just kind of my normal everyday stuff that I have been using for foundation. So I will be back when I'm done with that and we'll finish up with the lower lashes and the lipstick. So, all right, so I am back. My foundation is on. So I'm going to be using highlight and I'm going to use the Too Faced Candlelight Glow to start off. I'm gonna use my Anastasia A23 brush and start highlighting. And I like a lot of highlight, so I'm probably going to go in pretty heavy, like I always do. I like using this highlight a lot, it's really pretty. And then for also, I'm going to go back in with the Kat Von D Thunderstruck eyeshadow. And I'm gonna highlight with this as well on that same brush. I love this. I'm gonna to have to get another one of these before I can't get them anymore because Thunderstruck is my favorite, favorite color. And I love to use this a lot. It's just, it's awesome, I love it. If they would make this color as a full pan for a highlighter, I would just hand you my money and just be like, just give it, just get it to me. <laughs> because this is my favorite. So Kat, if you and your team are listening, that'd be awesome. I think I'm actually going to highlight my brow bones as well. So I'm going to go back in with that double sided brush that I was using before and hit my brows. back into my dark matter palette and I'm going to start with blur again and I'm going to use a BH Cosmetics number no. seven brush I'm gonna go in with unseen on that same BH Cosmetics brush go back into the haystack and I'm gonna use the color haze again and I'm gonna go in with that E44 from Sigma again 
I'll put this in the outer for half. I'm gonna bring it down pretty far. And I'm using that same from brush from before and just kind of blending this out a little bit. Using Marc Jacobs Pink of Me eye pencil. And I'm going to put this in my lower waterline. Using a little bit more of the Kat Von D Thunderstruck shade on that double sided brush from before. And I'm going to make sure I get this down through here. I'm going to use Bad Gal Bang Mascara for my lower lashes. And then we're going to go in to the fun part, which is the lipstick. And I'm going to actually line my lips with an Urban Decay Eye Pencil in Chaos. It's blue. I love it. I'm excited. Kat Von D in the shade Echo. I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Everlasting Lipstick in Reverb. And it is a blue glitter. And then I'm going to set my face for the last time with the Scandinavia The Makeup Finishing Spray. And this guys actually finishes up my Memorial Day kind of having some fun and I hope you guys enjoy this kind of look. If you guys want to see anything else on my channel, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend. Bye guys!